Hello and welcome to Listening and Reading in English with Ben. Today I will be reading short stories in English by Ollie Richards. This book is for beginners, so I will talk at a slower pace so that you can understand better and follow along easier. I hope you enjoy. Crazy Paella. Chapter 1. Getting ready. Daniel, I'm here, Julia calls. She is at the front door of the house. What is it, Julia? I reply. We're going to Spain today. You remembered, right? Of course I did. I'm packing, I call. My name is Daniel. I'm 24 years old. Julia is my sister. She is 23. We're both at university. We share a house in London. Our parents are Arthur and Sarah Bell. Julia and I are getting ready for a trip. We're going to Barcelona, Spain. We're both earning degrees in Spanish. We already know a lot of the language, but we want to learn more. We are going to be exchange students this term. I'm tall, about six feet. I have longish brown hair. My eyes are green and I have a wide mouth. I have a strong build. My legs are strong due to hours on the tennis courts. I'm a very good basketball player as well. My sister Julia has... Excuse me. My sister Julia also has brown hair. Her hair is longer than mine. She doesn't have green eyes. She has brown eyes like my dad. I have the same color eyes as my mum. My parents both work. My dad is an electrician. He works for a major electric company. My mum is a writer. She also owns a company. It sells science fiction books. My parents are really great. They always help us to reach our goals. They both speak Spanish well. They often speak to us in Spanish. It helps Julia and I practice. They really encouraged us to become exchange students. We are leaving for Spain today. My dad comes in my room. He looks at me in surprise. Why? Because I'm not dressed. Daniel, why aren't you dressed? Dad asks. Dressed? I just got up. I had a shower five minutes ago. I'm not even dry yet. Come on, we don't have much time. I want to take you to the airport. But I have work to go to. Excuse me. But I have to go to work too. Don't worry, Dad. I'm getting dressed now. Where's your sister? She's in her room. My dad goes into my sister's room. He wants to talk to her. He enters and Julia looks at him. Oh, hi, Dad. Do you need something? Asks Julia. Yes, your brother's getting dressed. Here. My dad gives Julia a wad of cash. I want you to both have this. Julia is surprised. Dad, there's a lot of money here she says. Your mother and I have saved this money. We want to pay for part of your trip to Spain. Thanks, Dad, says my sister. It will be very useful. I'm going to tell Daniel. Julia turns to leave. She almost runs into me. She and Dad didn't notice that I was coming in. My dad sees me. Oh, Daniel, you're here he says, and you're dressed. Great. My dad points to the money. That money is for the two of you. It's to help with the trip. Thanks, Dad. It'll be really helpful, I reply. Julia smiles. Now we must get ready, Dad says. We have to leave for the airport. Come on. Shortly after we eat, we leave the house. We head.
for the airport in Mum's car. Julia is very nervous. Julia, Mum says, are you all right? I'm really nervous, Julia answers. Why? I don't know anybody in Spain. I'll only know Daniel. Don't worry, Mum replies. There are a lot of very nice people in Barcelona, especially Daniel's friend Armando. Yes, Mum, I'm sure you're right. But I still feel nervous. What if something happens? It will be all right, says Dad. At the airport, there are lots of people checking in. Many of them were traveling for work. Some are traveling for fun. I go over to Julia, then I ask, are you more relaxed now? Yes, Daniel. I was really nervous in the car. Yes, I know. But everything's going to be fine. My friend Armando was really nice. He often helps exchange students like us. Our parents hug us warmly. We all wave goodbye as Julia and I leave. We love you both, they call. That's the final thing we hear. An hour later, our plane takes off. We are headed for Barcelona. So I hope you enjoyed the first chapter of the book. There are also some uh, exercises. So there is a summary. There is some new vocabulary maybe. And there are also five comprehension questions. I would recommend you have a look over those. Um, you could always write down the new vocabulary and then go back and, and re-listen to the video. Um, otherwise, thank you very much and we'll see you in the next one.